Incineroar versus uh, Jadina's Peach. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Round one here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Moving around a new thing. As an Incineroar man, I'll tell you that this matchup isn't necessarily great in our favor, but as opposed to a lot of other zoners, it's a better fight than you if you actually want to engage in some of the same A dash attack here. We have a down tilt looking for an opening. Both players are going to look to fish for openings or down tilt. Oh, fair. Presenting himself with a edge guard opportunity. Down tilt fair again. Sharpie is being uh, pressed in the corner right now. Oh, he's able to get out. Here right now is saying the better of these aerial exchanges and, and uh, advantage. And now Sharpie is in the corner. Down tilt, down tilt to Nair. Sharpie is very good at nailing this, these two frames at ledge. Oh, fair and the detail plane. And Sharpie is able to send Judea back off stage again. Oh, the jumping side B, which typically works, but has some weird thing to it. Both players dropping for position, but now Judea has an edge guard opportunity, but Sharpie is able to return to stage. Now he's being juggled up into the air by up airs. Judea floats back, neutral. It's about even right now, we're going to present this to uh, Judea currently. So, uh, and so uh, kill potential. Oh man, Sharpie almost slipped off stage. He might have paid for it too there with a back air, but. Wow, Judea drops two, Z drops two, uh, tries to move with the edge guard, but is finally able to float. Now as a 3-2 uh, stop for on Sharpie. Oh, down tilt there. Oh, here comes those Peach combos. Oh man, grab. Just extending him back here. Sharpie tries to up smash out of it, and then he'll land and goes even more. Ariel and the side B, a low and lift clothesline. Okay. Two stops Peach, but, uh, Clearly, Judea was able to get a lot of extra credit there by putting 70% on the Sharpie guard. Both players fighting neutral. Oh, Sharpie almost had an opportunity to land the arrow there, but wasn't able to. Grab Judea. Back air. Edge guarding opportunity here. Oh. Sharpie got hit by the turn so hard it uh, threw him really back on stage. And he was really low. Yeah, he probably has to do the turn properties on the other chip. Oh, both players are trading stage control right there, but now Judea is pressing again to try and take Sharpie to his last stock here in game one. Oh, and he reads the, you know, the tech read for the, the roll out and is able to nail the back air and take uh, another stock. Sharpie's on his last stock here in game one, but lands the uh, Nair to Darkest Lair at neutral B combo there. It's pretty much a um, early combo, sorry, early second combo. Just shields through uh, Judea's down air, full down air pressure. He's able to send him to the other side of the stage, but now retreats. Oh, nice grab there, has to reach the spot dodge. Sharpie now at ledge. Let's see what he's able to do. Is he able to T frame? No. Now both characters back to normal. Or neutral. Oh man, Judea is able to catch him. Bring him in with this peach combo. Oh, fair. Not enough to kill him just yet. Oh man, this is great. Both players shield, but Sharpie's uh, Nara shield option is frame five. Fast as hell often. Oh, gets the side B read. Now we're down to last stock a piece. Sharp starts almost at 90%, but is it going to be able to close this one out? Or is uh, Judea going to be able to press it? Because the band can also get the first game. Grab to, oh, almost grab to grab to up here, but Judea held out the DI. Thank you, Sharpies are trying to get the edge guard right here. Oh, man. Judea is playing dangerously with the. Uh, his recovery. But uh, Sharpie right now is just being very patient, ledge trapping via not letting him escape, retreating into the F tilt. Now it's virtual time. Oh, and he gets the F tilt kill again. Man, Sharpie's art. He was uh, down by about 90%. I think he actually did see her to death uh, via his peach right there to take game one. And uh, we'll see what. The counter pick is going to be. Typically, folks will ban. Uh, watch it, so. Sharpie's are banned, but for, for the record, typically you don't want to ban um, Smashville and Battlefield against any Incineroar player. Just 
by virtue of the um, smaller blast zones. And Sarah has a really weird set of uh, knockback properties to his moves, such that the knockback growth on them when they stock, it can be really hard to get KOs, but uh, even staled there, Sharpazar was able to get the kill off of uh, F tilt at ledge. Bell is taking a little bit of time to warm up and relax for a minute. He has got the option for the stage. And now we're going to go to Battlefield. The typical version would be nice if we maybe went to the, uh, you know, the Omega or the variant of maybe the new DLC stage, but that's just being weird like that. <laughs> and I don't think either player to switch characters. It was a very close match, so not a surprise. Here we go, game two between Sharpizard, the Brisbane Dominican Republic PR, I believe, Timo, and Judea from UCLA. Very, very good match. There we go. Sharp being patient when he gave the win. Catch him, wow, the up air screen. That was, that's not necessarily true with the cutting DI out. Oh, it's the revenge on the Judea's um, Peach combo strain. Reads the float, nails it there. Yeah, trying to figure out when to return to the stage. It's up, it's back to stage. Oh, nice, a little retreat. The bear but doesn't have a little tap on his Whips the grab. Charby is not whip that grab. Down throw the spear. Now he's got a ledge guard off to the ledge guard off to the Oh, he retreats with that F tilt. F tilt is putting in some work tonight for Sharp's Arts and Sarah Art. And now he leads just 45% off, which is really great first stock for Sharpie. So let's see if GDA can bring it back. And there's a character with a combat factor, it's definitely Peach. Flowing off stage, trying to avoid Sharpie's um, edge-crushing edge -crushing tools. He's able to bring it back on stage, and then able to press the advantage. Both characters jumping back and forth. Oh, nice float down air read by Jadia uh, there. Back air. Oh, Jadia is definitely going for like, back airs to grab on it. I believe the knockback is normally the circuit for Peach to get that, and it's just not able to get it. Side B, jumping side B, putting hurt. Uh, 25% unstable. <laughs> Good nail by Down tilt and there. Their uh, two combo from the cinema. Oh, no, there's down tilt attempt, but Peach is uh, probably going to break through the D tilt. Sharpie is definitely doing a great job with the uh, ledge trap. The idea is definitely not able to escape that often. So oh, he gets revenge off the last hit of up air. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, Turn throw there by Judea to get back on the stage for Charlie to catch him. Dark Slariot and the up air kill. Wow. So Charlie now, two stock lead on Judea here on game two. Oh, turret throw. Is it going to be it? Oh, but the uh, heavy armor on up B is able to get through the, turret, the second turret throw. So Charlie is able to return the stage. Only at 155, so he's got that rage. He's going to really come into play. Down tilt up air. It doesn't. Um, I believe it doesn't make a lot of our early percent, or chart, uh, zero early percent combos miss with this much rage. So we still got those. Oh, revenge. Off another up air read. Oh, dash attack, but he's able to use the um, shield stun dead. Uh, jab it. Oh, man. Revenge to Lolan Warrior. <laughs> and the fair for the kill. Sharpizard moving on after three stop on the wheel. Right here, all the way out to the two stars. And we're moving on, winners. Um, yeah. It, I was just, um, I'll say this, Judea definitely had the right idea with a couple of uh, Peach start uh, combo starters. And 